Excel's concatenation formula allows you to combine specific text strings into one cell. We'll talk about how to accomplish this task with an ampersand and with the concat formula. So how do you concatenate text in Excel? If you have a list of employees and you have their first name in one column, you have their last name in another column, what you might want to do is make a column with an employee full name. If I use equals, I can select one cell, use the ampersand, which is shift seven, and then select the other cell and fill that down. All I've done is combine the values in those two cells. If I want to add a space, what I can do is use quotation mark space, quotation mark ampersand, and that has added a space to my text string. Another way I could do this is by using the concatenate formula. Concat concatenates a list or range of text strings. This will work exactly like using ampersands, but is sometimes easier as you will use commas instead of ampersands. So if I use concat first name, quotation mark, space, quotation mark, last name, I've accomplished the same task as using ampersands. If we wanted to get the employee name and the rating, I could use concat first name, space, last name, comma, and then I could use quotation mark and write received a blank, close my quotation marks, link to the rating they received, use another comma, open quotation marks, space, rating, close my quotation marks. And now for each one of my employees, I have their full name and the rating they received. So if I wanted to copy this into an email or for some reason needed a text string, I can easily do that with the concatenation formula. You can also concatenate numeric values. So if you wanted to pull in the salary, you could add a text string that says and was paid space. And then I'm going to use this text formula to convert my numeric value into an easily readable text string. So if I use text, I'll highlight the salary for my value. And then my format text, I'll put dollar sign, pound sign, quotation marks, K. And what that will give me is just the thousands in the salary. If I fill that down, I can really easily have a full string that says Clyde Stale received an A rating and was paid $81,000. Very helpful if you are trying to concatenate strings to use in an email or an update without having to retype each one of these strings. Thank you.